Hello, friends. We are here at the final chapter of my Crimson Flower hard mode LTC run. I'm excited to bring this to you, and right now I'm just showing you all the levels of my students and faculty. Pretty low, except for Edelgard. Edelgard is literally my only master certified or master class certified unit. But she's all I need. So uh let's get down to this uh run of Radiant Dawn. If you get the joke of what's going on Ready here. For anything. Okay, so anyway, I'm smiting a bunch of people and the reason being I need three smites to get Linhart in range of warping Bernadetta. I need one smite for Leone to stride the group and I need well one smite on Edelgard to get her closer to the goal and also There's to no um, make the stride targeting work out a little better. So here I'm going to I'm do my warps. Uh, I only I need this amount of warp on... what am I saying? So Linhart can warp Bernadetta, she only needs three warp here. Let's make this For Manuela and Lysithia warping Byleth, I need a total of... Uh, what is this? 12 range of warp? Something like that. Um, Lysithia What's has like 32 strength? magic right now, Manuela has 16. So yeah, 4 plus um, 8. So yeah, you need 12 total range of warp. And I, I missed the gambit there. Th that's due to my ne negligence. Um, I skipped a lot of tea time because I was lazy and I could have easily built up the charm to never miss the gambit on Rhea, but yeah, I was lazy. So we're going to reset the RN with Edelgard because I have to attack that to get through. And then we're going to hit the gambit this time. And the reason I needed as much warp as I did is so that Byleth has one more move with which to canto. And that's because Edelgard here is going to exactly reach Rhea at where I broke the shield. And of course I want to attack her where the shield is broken. And here I fully repaired the axe so I can use a whole bunch of Raging Storm here. Um, total of five. So the reason I needed to warp Bernadetta a bit forward with Linhart earlier it was so that Edelgard yeah, can reach Rhea without spending any Raging Storm. Otherwise you need a lot more crits. So what's going to happen here is, so here I used two Raging Storms to take out the first life, that's fine. I just need one crit at any point on the first on like the first hit of any of her lives. And then I get one here, which is perfect. So I know in the monastery I didn't really show any of like my monastery gameplay, like what I was doing, but one of the things I was doing was training up my Edelgard's axe skill, and I got her to S rank axes which gives plus 10% axe crit, so that helps with the consistency of this a lot. So here I got a second crit on her third life, which is incredible. So here I can't, I can't quite kill with Brave Axe without critting, um, so we're gonna crit one last time uh, with my last Raging Storm, which I didn't need to do. Uh, I could have just attacked with Brave Axe afterwards, but yeah, getting crits is exactly what I want here. And I'm not gonna go through the cutscene because I want to save my sanity while uh, recording these clips. Because I'm using native Switch recording. Otherwise, I would have loved to show the cutscene there because it's pretty cool. Also, want to skip the God Star here. I decided to S support Edelgard for the fans. Actually, no, the main reason was because she was going to pair with Hubert, and I was like, eh, it's not the healthiest relationship, you know? 
so decided to step in. And yeah, this is the numbers for my run. Auxiliary blah, 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 jumbled that. Auxiliary battle is not on that, but that was three turns. So if we include that, I have a 48 total turn run, which is pretty sweet. And we get to check out some of the battle rankings here. A lot of people did absolutely nothing, but that's okay. Nothing is more than fine in this run. But yeah, I'm mainly showing these so that you can kind of verify that I'm not... I didn't really do any extra battles during my monastery time. Just to, you know, keep my word here that this was indeed a true LTC. There was the war goddess Leone, and here we are. 60 battles on Byleth and 79 battles on Edelbar. And there it is. Thank you for watching my Crimson Flower LTC. Hope to see you again sometime.